My name is Erica Olson with On Strategy. Today's whiteboard session is what is strategic planning really? And I wanted to do this whiteboard session because oftentimes we debate the merits of strategic planning and what it really is or isn't. And I found that's a no-win discussion. What really matters is what does the strategic planning process need to do for your organization now? And one way to think about that is what's different as a result of the strategic planning process 12 months from now than what you're seeing today in your business. And so with that in mind, there's a lot of different ways you might answer that question. And I'm going to give you some ideas about that. But before I sort of jump into this, I want to say there's no right answer. There's just the right fit. And it matters that everybody on your executive team or your board or whomever the decision makers are in your organization that you all agree on, yep, this is the outcome from the process and this is what strategic planning means to us at this place in this time. So let's jump in. The very first thing that it would mean is having an articulated plan. And an articulated plan is very simply, where are we going and why, right? So. That's the first place to start when you think about a strategic planning process, is simply having a strategic plan that gives you focus. If you want the strategic plan to actually be strategic, you need to kind of take it out to the next level of expression of the process, which is actually adding in an understanding of your differentiation. Why are we, what are we best at? Where are we gonna play? How are we gonna win? That is the strategy around strategic planning. Right? So, when, where, and best. In order to do that, that means you need to do the research from a competitive perspective, a market perspective, a customer perspective to answer those questions. Taking it out even further, the next expression of it is you know, we have a plan that's strategic that we actually want to align our organization around. Right? And that answers the question, what's important right now and who must do what? And what that actually looks like is taking the big ideas in your strategic plan, those things that you're focusing on, those big priorities, and breaking them down through the organization. And while everybody wants organizational alignment, and we certainly want to say everyone has accountability and ownership in the plan and the process, Taking that one step at a time is really important. So perhaps you answer this question by saying maybe this year you're going to get organizational alignment to a certain level in your organization and then maybe next year you take it all the way. So that's maybe something to think about. So we have a plan that's strategic that our organization is aligned around. And if we actually want to take that even further and experience organizational transformation, we need to put a process around managing the plan, right? So that it doesn't just sit on the shelf. And so that answers the question, are we making progress and do we need to adapt the strategy, right? So this is the agility part of having a strategic plan. And that's a really the big complaint people have about strategic planning is that it's static. This makes it dynamic. And how do you make this happen? You put a rhythm in place, a monthly review process to talk about progress against plan and making adaptations and feeding that through the organization. Check out my video on running a great strategy review for how to do that. So different types of outcomes that they kind of build on each other, having an articulated plan with focus, having a strategic plan that drives focus around your strategic differentiation, that your organization is aligned around that is actually driving organizational transformation. With that, good luck, clarify your outcomes, happy strategizing.